My name is Amity Dimmick. I am the mother of Kobe Heisler. Kobe Heisler was murdered in his own home in front of his grandmother on August 31st of 2019. The news covered it the day that it happened. They covered some call logs the day after, but that's all y'all have heard about it. You may have heard about me recently working on police reform, but otherwise there's nothing about my son out there. One of the reasons is because it's been 10 months and what's the date today? The 26th? The 24th, 10 months and 24 days. We don't have any of the information we should have. We don't have a charging decision. Um, after George Floyd got murdered, we were able to see um, his body cam video, but you know, only because George Floyd had gotten murdered. And, um, and so we watched that. All I can say about that is that it reconfirmed what I already knew, which is that my son did not deserve what happened to him and that he was indeed murdered. Um, by the Brooklyn Center Police. It, I started protesting the day after George Floyd died. I was trying to sit there and work because somehow you're supposed to go on with your life like you're a normal person. Mm, yeah. Pay your bills and work a 40 hour work week. Mm. And I came, I turned, I listened to the news in the background when I'm working, I work at home. And that morning after, all I saw was George Floyd, George Floyd, George Floyd, George Floyd, which is rest in peace. I feel so bad for him. But you know, I got politicians and pro, pro athletes and superstars and everybody talking about George Floyd, George Floyd, George Floyd. And it just started wailing in my office that day because I was thinking, what about Kobe Eisler? Kobe Heisler, Kobe Heisler, why isn't he in everybody's mouth? Why isn't everybody talking about him? My guy came to see what I was crying about. He just looked at me and he said, turn that computer off, sign off, we're going. And we've been here every day since. Justice. The call had been reversed. My son just had a bad day that day. The 911 call, when 911 call had been reversed, and they came in and they shot him anyhow. And so I've been doing what I can to do the police justice reform, the police reform. But you know, what I really need is justice for my son, and I need everybody to help. Help me get it. You got your back. I, I will say one last thing, his one year anniversary of being murdered by Brooklyn Center. Police will be on August 31st. I plan on having the protest of all protests because I want you guys to help me demand that they show the body cam video to the public. At one year they have no excuse not to. And that's all I've got to say.